you know, it seems like this could probably work better if it was mounted to something. Let's see what we can do about that. Welcome to Robot Factory. So step one in this process is going to be creating a mount, uh, a, a bracket that will allow us to use the original holes for the power supply mounting that are cut into the acrylic and use that to mount the new power supply to the printer itself. That's going to start with getting some measurements. First thing that we can see <clears throat> is that center to center about 88 millimeters. So about 88 millimeters center to center on that hole pattern and then we're just going to confirm that with the lower holes as well. Yep. And then our vertical spacing and we're going to make sure that this is a, a legit polygon. Uh, well I guess it would always be a legit polygon. We're going to make sure it's a, a rectangle, I should say. So that looks like 91 to me. Nice, simple, rectangular bracket, 88 millimeters wide, 91 millimeters top to bottom. The next thing we want to do is get some measurements off of the power supply itself. The back of our power supply has five, one, two, three, four, five positions with captive M3 nuts that will accept an M3 screw. So what we need to do is determine what the, the boundaries of that are. 90, probably 95 and a half ish. So we're just going to say 95 millimeters. So center to center, we are looking at 177 millimeters. And for the power supply to mount to the bracket, I am by no means a expert or even vaguely competent user of Fusion. This is a brand new space for me to be working in, so I'm learning a lot. As always, if you have thoughts or suggestions, throw them in the comments. I'm, I'm bound to learn something from you. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to create a... I'm going to create a rectangle that will be the outer limits of the plate. And given that our plate needs to be a minimum of 95 by 117 millimeters to accommodate the power supply, I'm going to go ahead and go 190 millimeters by 100 millimeters. And that's going to give us a little bit of extra wiggle room. The bracket will be a little bit bigger than the power supply. I'm going to go ahead and extrude that up to about 10 millimeters. I'm going to make that a 10 millimeter thick part so that it's it's nice and sturdy. And when I print it, I'm probably going to go ahead and print it in like a 50% sort of infill. Um, now what I need to do is posi position some mounting holes. So the first thing that I'm going to do is drop in place the screw holes for the power supply. The other measurement that we're going to need is going to be the outside diameter of our M3 nut. So from face to face, we are looking at 5.4 millimeters dead on. Now that we have our base plate ready to go, we need to drop in the holes, the countersunk holes that will allow us to place our captive nut into the plate and receive the, the screw through the acrylic and into the plate itself. So now what I'm going to do is using this base hole that I've already set up, copy and pasting so that my holes wind up where I want them to be. Now we can go ahead and 
extrude these and I'm gonna drop these five I'm gonna drop these five millimeters in and what that's gonna do so now what that will do is it's gonna allow us to put our nuts in and then drop it into a little bit of super glue to hold it in place there that my friends should be that because this face of the plate will go this top face of the plate that I've highlighted in blue will be the one that goes up against the printer body itself the bottom side what's currently the bottom side of the plate will be the one that the power supply mounts to our screws from our power supply uh, our screws into our power supply will go through this direction our nuts will be on this side and receive the screw that comes in. That should do it. Now, here's the big thing. How long is this sucker going to take to print? And I want to go ahead and export this component to Cura and see how long this is going to take us to print. An 11 and a half hour print. Now, uh, one thing that we want to do is that we want to make sure that we print this flat on the bed. We do not want to risk printing this vertically because it will not be as strong. So we're going to try and just run this on... on the normal quality settings with a light infill. Okay, this is what it looks like when we try and use every square inch of the build plate. We'll see what this sucker looks like in 12 and a half hours. You'll see what it looks like in two weeks, but I'm gonna see what it looks like in 12 hours. So, as always, thanks for stopping by, thanks for visiting, thanks for your likes, your subscribes, your sharing. If you have thoughts or suggestions or ideas, as always, leave them down in the comments. Questions, any of that, I try to make a point of looking at all that regularly. And yeah, thanks just for stopping by and having a chuckle. We'll see you soon. Cheers.